Hi. Hi, I'm Alex from Australia and I was just hoping you could take me through some of the things here today at the Galaxy Sure, Stand. yeah. You, should we go over to the, um, the S21 FE? Yeah, that's it. Well, that's the latest and greatest. Yeah, I mean, when it's, it's the latest and greatest in smartphones. Mm -hmm. So, um, last year, we we had our first FE device, which is, let's go over here because this is... Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So, we launched the um, S20 FE last year. It was one of our most popular smartphones. We sold over 10 million units, so mm. very, very popular smartphone. And the mantra was to actually give that premium S device experience, but in a budget device. So yeah. something that, that's not, not quite so much, because these devices, they've become very costly, right? Yeah. So here we have our S21 FE, so our fan edition. And, you know, it's based on our S21 devices, because there are three different devices. So FE stands for Fan Edition. So what we have here is a unified design. You have that beautiful six and a half inch AMOLED display. Mm -hmm. It's 120 hertz, so that means it's going to be absolutely... Super smooth. But, yeah, I mean, I like to say buttery smooth, because yeah. it really, really is. In game mode, you have a 240 hertz um, um, sample rate for touch. Yeah. For touch. So yeah. games, you know, you get, you're going to get Super no Super responsiveness. Lag. Yeah. Very, very responsive, right? Um, Camera-wise, you've got three cameras on the back, 12, 12, and 8 megapixel. That 8 megapixel camera has a 30 times digital zoom, our space zoom, right? You can mm -hmm. zoom way in, and it even has like a zoom lock so that you can lock onto your, your subject, get in there real close. Your selfie camera is a 32 megapixel selfie, so that's a huge picture. You can take amazing selfies, especially in the dark. Mm -hmm. Then battery, right? You, we need an all-day battery. We use these devices for so many hours each day. So easily an all-day battery. It's a 40, 4,500 milliamp hour battery. Mm -hmm. Also wireless charging. Okay, so nobody likes wires anymore, so wireless charging, and also our wireless power share. So I can. I can power my other devices using this device, or I can even recharge my Buds or even my Galaxy Watch. So that's the S21 Fan Edition. It comes in these four wonderful colors. You've got black, white, olive, and lavender. Okay. It launches um, the, on January 11th, which is next week, mm -hmm. at a price of $699. Cool. Very cool. Well, it US should be, dollars. It should be uh, just as popular, even more popular than the first one. Yeah, 10 million units plus. Let's see. Let's look at 20 million this year. <laughs> okay. So what's next? So, uh, yeah, I mean, we can look at a um, bunch of other stuff that we can look at. How about we look at the bespoke over here because our uh, Galaxy Z Flip 3, so it's one of our foldable phones, mm -hmm. as you can see. Yeah, no, I've got one in my pocket. You, okay, yeah, so yeah. How, how do you like the color? Oh, it's, well, the one I have is uh, sort of a blue color. And so, I mean, would you wish to, like, um, customize it somewhat? Well, I mean, I, I did cover the uh, customization launch and, and was watching it uh, when it happened a couple of months ago. And, I mean, I understand it's been very, very popular. I mean, uh, I read also the blog post that explained how the Z Fold and Flip 3 sold more units uh, in since launch than all of in, in yeah, the previous yeah. generation combined. So Absolutely. It's been, and also more popular than even the standard S series flagship because there's something different that people have really taken to. Yeah, we've tried to bring um, foldables to the masses, mm. right? And there have been certain things that have been, um, you know, things that, uh, that that customers really expect to have yeah. on, on a device. So for example, IP68, you know, they want that water, water resistance, for example. So we brought that to our Z Flip and Z Fold 3, really, really important. But the, what I'm going to um, focus on here is customization. So, yep. you know, we like to customize pretty much everything in our lives from, you know, fashion to our cars to pretty much everything we have at home in our decor and now in our mobile devices. So if you go to Samsung.com and go and just type in Z Flip Bespoke, you can actually customize your device. So you get to choose from um, all of these different colors and you can mix and match from on the front and rear. You can see our robots here putting things together for you. Mm -hmm. You can choose between the black and the platinum um, outline here as well. Now, after you've made the order, um, it gets shipped within five to seven days. Um, so pretty awesome. You get, get to customize it to look exactly the way you want it. Now, this bespoke um, concept, we actually started it in home appliances of all of all things. So if yeah. you look at the refrigerators over there, I you'll remember find that's right. You had different that, panels. You could put yeah, on they're they're yeah. the same kind of colors and the same kind of concept. Right. Go, so you can match it to exactly your specific needs. 
So I tell you what, let's um, let's switch it up now. Let's go over to computing because yep. there's a lot of stuff over there that is really cool, real you know, galaxy kind of features. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, one of the things that Samsung has done really well is have the ecosystem where everything is linked together. I mean, yeah. it's something we're seeing. Is you have to do it now because you want to be able to use your phone on your computer, have everything interact and be yep. as seamless as possible. So take us through the it, latest developments. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, everyone likes to talk ecosystem. And when it comes down to it, Galaxy devices are designed to work better together. But here, I want to show you not only that, but also our integration around Microsoft. So this is our Galaxy Book Pro, which is our Intel Evo platform. But what I want to show you here is Microsoft Link to Windows. Yeah. So Link to Windows allows me to connect my phone to my Galaxy Book computer. And the software is all already built into our devices. Our mobile phones, it is actually built into all of our mobile phones now. Yeah. And I mean, I remember a thing a few years ago called Samsung Flow. So, yeah. I mean, you've been doing this for a long time. Long yeah, time. so Flow was more about um, file sharing between devices. I think you could also see the screen of your phone yep. on your desktop. You, which, could, um, you could drag and drop um, um, files like photographs and files to yeah. and from. So we've expanded on that mm. to, into the ultimate way, basically. So yeah. what I can do here is I can control pretty much every aspect of my phone from my computer. So if you look at the screen here, mm -hmm. so when I open up um, the, the Your Phone app, I can see the notifications. I can respond to those notifications using the physical keyboard. I don't even have to touch my phone. Mm. My text messages, I can read and write text messages directly from, from my computer again. Because I mean, look, look, we spend hours staring at our computers all day long and we get distracted by our phones. And that means that productivity is lost. So when I do this, I'm still focused on what's going on on my computer. I can also see my photos from my phone and I can drag and drop those photos. In fact, I can take a photo and almost instantly just drag and drop it onto my desktop. Then apps, so this is new. I can launch Android apps directly inside of uh, Microsoft Windows 10 or Windows 11, mm -hmm. which is, once again, fantastic and, and without that was touching something my that, device. Uh, Samsung was doing long before Windows itself was yeah. mooted to run Windows. Yeah, we suggested uh, this. Apps. We innovated in, in this respect, and then they kind of followed. They're like, oh, yeah. you know, that's a really good idea. Let, <laughs> let's just put it into stock Windows, yeah. right? That's it right. makes sense. Then this is another edition, my phone dialer. So this is obviously it's connected via Wi-Fi and via Bluetooth, but I can make and receive phone calls, once again, directly from my desktop. And it's using the microphone and the speaker here as well. I can plug in a pair of um, Ga Galaxy Buds too if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. But that really kind of takes us to something different. So here we have full integration with the Galaxy phone on inside of Windows on our Galaxy Book and Galaxy Book Pro and actually all of our Galaxy Book Pro um, book computers. But let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. So Alex, and your, um, your office space, like at home or at work, how many monitors do you use? Well, I'm using two or three monitors depending on what I'm doing and right. it's very handy to have that extra real estate to be able to... Yeah, yeah, so you have a PowerPoint here, you've got your web browser, you've got Word, and you've got other stuff going on. You need that extra real estate. Mm. So question, you've flown from Australia to here to, uh, to Las Vegas to CES. Did you bring any of your extra monitors with you? No. Why not? <laughs> Too large. It's impossible. Yeah, right? yeah. That's absolutely I mean, impossible. I do have a tablet which I can use as an extra monitor. Right. So, so that is that. That's what I'm talking. That's what I'm bridging to here. Yeah. So, our Galaxy Tab S7 series you can use as a second monitor, yeah. not only duplicated but extended as well. So you can bring that office experience that you have at home, where you know it's very very productive. You can bring that wherever you go, because the Tab S7 is no thicker and no heavier than like you know a good sized magazine. Yeah. And as you said, you've already brought a tablet with you. I see most people when they travel, they have a tablet for entertainment. Yeah. Then they have their computer for productivity, but with this they can do both at the same time. And, and I can take you over there to actually sure. show you it. And also, un action. unlike one of those portable external monitors that people have, which are tablet sized, yep. the tablet is actually a tablet as well. So you can use it for more than just an external and monitor. And not only that, it's a very, very powerful, the most powerful Android tablet that we have today. So that's the Tab S7 series, that's which got, is yeah. right over here. So here, once again, we have our, um, our Galaxy Book Pro. This is the, the black version. It's actually that's, that's pretty awesome. That looks lovely. And as you can see, it's running our um, link to Windows. Mm -hmm. 
and next to it here we have our Tab S7 FE, so our fan edition version of this device. With the 12 and a half inch screen. That's a, yeah, 12.4 inch screen. Yeah. It comes with an S Pen as well. That S Pen has, you know, 2,000. I'm um, sorry, uh, 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity yeah. on screen. Great for artists. Fantastic for artists. It brings things to a completely new level when it comes to productivity, right? If you were to buy these different accessories separately, you're talking about a lot of money. Mm. But anyway, so this is, once again, you know, it's an Android tablet, our latest tablet, and you can use it as a second screen. This is running in duplicated mode. There's no cables, it's talking to it um, wirelessly, mm -hmm. but you know, that extra level of productivity, or you know, if you just wanted to use it for Netflix or Spotify or whatever for, for um, entertainment, you can do that as well. There's a few other elements that we've got going on here. You know, we want to talk ecosystem. Mm -hmm. We have our Z, Z Fold 3. We also have our Galaxy Buds. Buds. Too, these, yeah. these are our Buds too. And you would think that, well, you know, it's just a pair of Buds, right? But no, these are Galaxy Buds. And that Galaxy moniker, right? Devices that are designed to work better together. But Alex, you're probably asking me, well, they're just Buds. How, how are they designed to work better together? Well we have um, instant switching between devices. So let's say I'm using my Tab S7 FE, I'm watching something on, um, on Netflix, mm -hmm. I have my Buds 2 connected. Now, I'll have them connected to my phone as well, and, but selectively, what's gonna happen is if I'm watching Netflix on my tablet and a phone call comes in on my phone, then it's gonna automatically switch. It's gonna figure that, okay, well, you're gonna to wanna to take your phone call before you watch, the, instead of watching um, Netflix, mm. and it's gonna automatically switch. Also, because they, these guys are designed to work together, including the, uh, the computer, I can just literally switch between devices with a button press. I don't have to you know, unpair, forget, search for a new device and repair, because that is just, you know, that, that is not convenient. Yeah. So in ultimate convenience, I can literally just press a button and switch between devices. And is that something that was introduced with the Galaxy Buds 2, or did the previous Galaxy Buds have no, that So that well? was actually introduced in our Buds Pro this time last year. Right, so it's right, been yeah. in the Buds Pro, um, and it's and in the buds and in the buds too. So yeah. the difference between buds two and the buds pro, the buds pro are, um, you know, the the premium version. Mm -hmm. um, they both do have active noise cancellation. Yeah. I mean, I have the buds too. And yeah, they're they, great. They're, they're great. Um, they feel they're very very comfortable. The uh, buds pro, uh, yeah, they have something called intelligent active noise cancellation. So what they'll do is they'll automatically switch between ANC and ambient mode mm -hmm. when you start talking. So right. I can be, I don't know, maybe I go and get a coffee somewhere and I need to order a coffee, I'm listening to my music. As soon as I start talking, it's gonna shut off active noise cancellation. It's gonna turn on ambient sound mode so that I can hear the person who's talking to me without stopping my music or turning off, uh, or you know, or pulling out my, my buzz. It's so, nice when things are automatic for you. Yeah, automatic and just very, very convenient. Built for convenience, for sure. And uh, I enjoy being able to use the, um, the what, what do you call this, uh, the, on the Galaxy Watch, the bezel. The bezel. You can the, spin the, the bezel, bezel as a volume this, control. It, it, it is an absolute joy. This yeah. is my Galaxy Watch 4. Absolutely love it. We recently switched to Wear OS um, from Google mm -hmm. instead of our, our Tizen operating system. It looks very similar. I yeah. mean, if, if, I did, if I didn't tell you that we switched operating systems, you just wouldn't know. Yeah. But it is a little bit slicker. Um, it has more storage. You've got 16 gig of storage. Still the same apps that we normally have, like you yeah. know Samsung Health, for example, which integrates just beautifully. It looks and feels exactly the same, but better integration of Google Apps. So, for example, Google Maps, right? Yeah. And those apps that, when you download them on your phone, if they have a sister app on the on your um, on your Galaxy Watch, it's just going to automatically go on there as well. So much much easier when it comes to using those Google um, applications, whether it's Mail, uh, Gmail. Um, Google Maps, Google Docs, um, whatever that might be, Google Wise. I mean, you know, we all use Google services, that's for sure. Well, it was good that uh, Samsung helped Google to update Wear OS and make it. Um, I mean, I, I read that uh, this has been the fastest selling Galaxy watch with Wear OS since you launched them. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a beautiful watch, and we can actually go over and check that out now yeah, if okay, you want, because yeah. there's a few features on a Galaxy Watch 4 that are brand new Oops. and they are very very helpful especially when it comes to your health so there's a few things going on here so first of all there's um, a blood oxygen monitor so mm -hmm. this will actually monitor your blood oxygen level 
um, consistently. You don't actually have to tell it to do it, it'll do it Just automatically. Does it in the yeah. yeah, it'll do it in the background, it'll do it all night long. Mm. So you can actually see inside of Samsung Health you know what your um, your oxygen level is like. Mm -hmm. You can also do um, snore detection, and it will use the uh, um, the, the 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 microphone um, in, and the, the sensors in the watch and on your phone at the same time, and give you all those insights. It'll even play you recordings of you snoring or yeah. your partner snoring overnight. <laughs> I already have a snore detector, and that's my wife. Yeah, and we help each other out in, in that regard. Something else that's going on here is you have a, a body composition um, analysis. So mm -hmm. this is something that you know normally you'd have to get done in a, a medical facility. Mm -hmm. But what this does is it uses um, electrical waves. So you can see it right here. It's actually working away in this demo. And when you do it, it, it takes uh, like about 20 seconds. But it's going to calculate a whole bunch of different statistics. So. Um, instead of just giving you your weight, it's going to break your weight down into a, a few different buckets. So the amount of water you have, skeletal muscle, and also body fat. Now, reality is that you know if I'm working out, say I'm doing weights, muscle actually weighs more than fat. So just by weighing yourself, and no one it's likes to weigh themselves, right? Accurate, yeah. You don't like to stand on a scale. Yeah. But just weighing yourself isn't giving you the actual real facts. And this is going to give you the, the, the facts. And with plus or minus uh, one or two percent. So it's very, very accurate indeed. Then you've got ECG and blood pressure monitoring. So um, just a little caveat here, the blood pressure monitoring is not available in the United States market as of right now, but it is available in other markets in the world. ECG, you know, an electrocardiogram um, um, a measurement. You know, we have had countless people reach out to us here at Samsung, thanking us, thanking us because they've had a Galaxy Watch 4 and it's alerted them that they have had an irregular heart rate. Atrial fibrillation. Yeah, yeah. and this, I mean, this is not a medical device, mm -hmm. but it's sent them to the doctor, and they've said to their doctor, hey, the, my watch has said that, you know, I've got an irregular heart rate, and the doctor has looked at it with their professional um, instruments, and they've sent them directly to the hospital and literally saved their lives. Mm -hmm. So we've had customers literally thank us for, for pointing us towards, you know, to a doctor. And, possibly saving our lives. Now, the, the blood pressure monitoring does work in Australia and in other countries, and um, you can either have a connected uh, blood pressure cuff that sends the information, but you can also take a reading from just a regular blood pressure monitor and type the numbers in yourself, right? Yeah, so you need to actually have a baseline first. Yeah. So you either use, you know, the the, um, the cuff that you have at home, yeah. or which is not connected, just like a right. standard, a standard, and it one. gives you the yeah. reading. And and once you put that reading into the watch, yeah. it then knows. It knows what your baseline is, so it can use the yeah. sensors inside the watch to calculate your current blood pressure. Mm -hmm. But you, you do have to update that once in a while. I'm not actually not an, not an expert at that That's because okay. yeah, yeah. even though I sound like <laughs> I'm I'm English and yeah. I'm from a different uh, region, I'm actually I, I live in the United States, sure, so sure. Um, I I haven't actually used this because I don't have access to yeah. it. Here in, in, and in and any idea for the, I mean I'm representing Australians, but do you know when? The FDA might approve the, uh, this for the US. I, I don't have that yeah. kind of information. No, well, it's, it always takes time. It took yeah. it took about three or four years for the TGA, the Australian Therapeutic Goods Administration, yeah. to authorize the use of ECG. So sometimes governments move slow, but they get there eventually. For sure. Yeah. Now, lastly, you know, when it comes to our Galaxy Watch 4, you know, it really is the, the ultimate when it comes to customization. We talked about customization with our Z our Flip and about bespoke, but mm. look at this. I mean, look how many different kinds of uh, um, accessories, accessories and bands. Yeah. The bands, I mean, it's really, it's almost infinite when it comes to your uh, your watch faces as well. It really is infinite because you can create your own watch faces. Yeah. It really is fantastic. You know, I absolutely love my watch. I've had a watch since I was about four years old. I think my first watch was a Timex. <laughs> yeah. And I remember it had a feature, right? Yeah. Had this feature. And I really wanted it because I was a little kid. It had glow in the dark hands. Yeah. Okay, right, that yeah. was back in like 1975. Yeah. And look how far we've come. It oh, yeah. still looks very similar. I mean, yeah. it, has, it has that same. I, I have the same watch face as that one. You can it, see it here. Yeah. The same one. Because I. I, yeah, I this is a stock watch face. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah. You've got lots of information on the screen, yeah. but it's our Galaxy Watch 4. Yes, well, I mean, you've been able to create your own bespoke watch experience for some time with all the bands. I mean, that customization has been. Very popular, so uh, and I went and purchased myself the sports band. Uh, it came with a um, it came with a 
like a beige one in the box, but um, I wanted something that was. It, yeah, was, it was always it was always yeah. nice to, to push this inside rather than have to, having to deal with the two little bands. So um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, th this kind of watch, you know, this this format was actually designed by Cartier in in the early twentieth century. I think it was like in the like nineteen teens that mm. he designed this. And, you know, Swiss watchmakers basically. Yeah. And it's still alive today. You know, so it looks like a watch, a normal watch. Looks like a classic watch but it operates very much, it is a smartwatch. Anything else we should look at before you move on to all the other people that are here? I think, I think we've, we've almost covered everything in the booth, to, to, be, to be honest. Sure. I mean, the ecosystem pieces are, are just so very important. They yeah. really are. And, you know, just to understand that, you know, Galaxy devices are designed to work better together. You know, we have that great ecosystem of devices and um, that, that definitely is the way to go and, um, and the way forward. And it extends not only between mobile and mobile computing devices, but also home entertainment and even home appliances. You know, our, our mobile phones will talk to our refrigerators. Yeah, well, right? I was just getting a demo of the yeah. fridge talking to the stove yep. and yep. giving you all the ideas, yep. ordering and, you know, the food. And our our yeah. Smart Things platform, mm -hmm. which not only encompasses Samsung products, but it encompasses thousands of third party products. Well, that's the ecosystem being extended that's industry wide. That's the ecosystem being, being expanded industry wise, exactly. So, you know, for example, you know, third-party um, bulb makers or uh, um, doorbells, right? They have their own apps. Mm, mm. So, so if you have like three or four of these apps, it suddenly becomes, you know. Unmanageable, a, too many it, things yeah, to Yeah, it becomes check, not yeah. only unmanageable, but they don't talk to one another. Yeah. So we've created this smart things platform and we've partnered with all these third-party um, companies so that instead of using their apps, they work with ours. And that means that we can make devices talk to one another that were never even designed to talk mm. to one another. So for example, you know, we get bulbs from one manufacturer talking to doorbells from another. So, so you press the doorbell and it turns on that bulb. Mm. Really, really clever integrations and it's like the sky's the limit with those kind of integrations and we'll just keep on going further and further. So a massive ecosystem, not just Samsung, but third party as well. Well, Jonathan Wood, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me. Yeah, my pleasure, mate. Thank you.